Hey everyone, this is Father Pete. I'm up in the balcony of the big church and I'm working on a couple of things for Sunday and just wanted to shoot a quick little video here on my iPhone and show you a little bit of um, what we do to uh, bring you the streaming services on Sundays. And so we're up in the balcony. Uh, previously, let me turn this around. So we're up in the balcony and uh, previously we have been uh, shooting our services from down there by the piano, looking, uh, looking right at ourselves there in the chancel area in front of the altar. Uh, but we've backed up uh, now that we have folks in the pews and um, we are shooting from up in the balcony. And on Sunday we had some challenges with the sound. And throughout this process, ever since we started doing this, it's been quite a learning experience, first to even figure out how to get, uh, how to do live streaming, and then uh, from there, each of the little uh, challenges that have come up and trying to figure out a way around them. And I don't know if I have a perfect way around the problem we're having here, but uh, I thought it would be fun to show y'all just a little bit of what goes into trying. So, um, first let me show you the setup here. We have, uh, this is what we use every Sunday. We've got our, our camera right here, a uh, lovely camcorder that's uh, well suited to our purposes, and a, a shotgun microphone that attaches to it that gives us much, much better sound than the built-in microphone does. Um, then, connected to the camera here, we have an HDMI cord. It connects it to my laptop. There's an important piece in between called a cam link, which actually uh, allows us to send the camera signal directly to the computer and, um, and control it from here. And I'll show you more about what's going on on the computer here in a minute. The other thing connected to the computer here is an ethernet cable so that we have a reliable internet stream um, to send the signal out on, because without that, uh, the Wi-Fi is just not really up to carrying that. It's a ton of information. So that goes directly into the to the line. You can see we've got quite a spool here. We've got 150 feet of this stuff because we've been all over the place running these cables hither and yon as we shoot these different services over the last several weeks. Then of course we have the all-important power cable here. And that is the basic setup. I've also got my big headphones, and then a whole big mess of tricks here in my camera bag that are sometimes useful. And then, just to show you how we run this service, um, we have two really important things uh, that go on on the computer. One is, of course, YouTube itself, and the other is this software that uh, that I'll try to show you here. So it's not as easy to see the screen through this uh, iPhone camera, but you can see it enough, I think. This is called Open Broadcasting Software, or OBS, and it's what we have to use in order to uh, collect the video and have it stream to YouTube. Um, it does a lot of different things. Currently, I'm in studio mode. Uh, but I'll come out of that for just a minute and show you a couple things that we've been able to do here. So, first of all, I'm able to create these kind of title screens uh, that you may be used to seeing. And uh, we can uh, change out this text and do all kinds of different things and show different text depending on what part of the service we are in. So, for instance, uh, this is currently set for the postlude, so, which was, of course, the last thing we did on Sunday. However, if I go down here, I can disappear the postlude information and make the prelude information visible instead. And we make that much smoother, hopefully, uh, when we're actually in the process of doing the service. And the way that I do that is by using studio mode. So in studio mode, I can have on the right-hand side what people are seeing live on YouTube, 
and then I can prepare the next thing you'll see over here on the left. So when we want to move from the Prelude title screen to the live feed image, that is where I get it ready. And I can bring up what day it is, what, what Sunday it is, or uh, if we're displaying hymn lyrics, that's where they come from. And then when the timing is right, click Transition, and now it becomes visible online, and that is the picture that you see. And then I can get ready with the next thing, whether we're doing, you know, say, hymn lyrics, and that'll become uh, apparent. So this has been an absolutely vital piece of, of what we do. You can't really have a live stream without some kind of what's called encoding software. Um, so then I'll uh, show you a little bit about what goes on on YouTube end. So I have pulled up our YouTube channel, hopefully it looks familiar, and uh, I am ready to do a live stream, let's say. So I go up here to create a video and I say go live. And that will take us to the YouTube studio. And at this point, I, uh, I can set all the different settings, and uh, I'm not going to uh, worry about that too much right now because this is just a demonstration. But here's where we put in uh, the name of the video, which is the name of the Sunday, and some of the other important information. Hit create. And the next thing I get here is uh, some of the, the, the technical information about uh, the stream itself. A really important piece here is the stream key. So I've got to copy that stream key and then go into OBS and I use this configuration tool and here I need to delete the key that's currently in and put in the one I just copied so that I make sure the video goes to the right place on YouTube so that what you are watching uh, is showing what we are doing. And then that takes just a minute, does a little thinking, tries to get it all lined up with the best settings for the connection that we have. Hit apply settings. Then we'll check over here back with YouTube and uh, things are looking good. Going to click start streaming here and this is where the two pieces of software connect. The broadcasting software that I'm using and then YouTube itself. So here it says we have an excellent connection which will probably go down to a good connection almost immediately which is of course not quite as good. And it gives us this preview of uh, what you'll see as soon as I hit go live. So if I don't want you to be seeing all that, then I can go here, go back to our opening title screen, get that all ready. And in a moment, there's a bit of a delay, but in a moment that's going to change and that's what will be seen online. So there we are, we're ready to go. That's what you're going to see as soon as I click go live. I'm not going to click go live because no one's watching right now and this is just, um, just for fun. But as soon as we click go live, then you all will see whatever is on this side of my screen. Okay, took a minute and, and turned all that off because we just don't need it right now. And wanted to look instead a little bit at what we do with the sound because the sound is the issue that we had on Sunday. So down here you can see the uh, sound bars uh, that, that show what uh, the microphone levels are doing. And here I can go to what's called filters. And when I uh, do this I can set up different filters that, may, that will change the sound in different ways. So first and most important is this one called noise suppression, which I have turned all the way to the maximum amount of noise suppression because without that, 
you get a very, very fuzzy sound. You hear the air conditioning going, you hear every tiny little cough and breath and every other thing, so it's very distracting. So I've got our noise suppression set at, at the max. And this is what is called a noise gate. And this is even more control over that so that you're not constantly hearing that background hum where it is set to uh, turn, basically turn on the mic when the sound reaches a certain level. And I've got it set to where the kind of the normal speaking voice uh, will trigger it. So while we're talking, the microphone is on and active and you can hear us. And then when you cease talking, it will turn itself basically off so that it just sounds a lot cleaner. And here in this space, that's really important because there's so much echo. You can probably hear echo right now, even just with me talking on the iPhone. Then I've got two compressors as well. That's a little bit more uh, tricky, but it just takes that the sound and um, compresses it, uh, which in this case I'm using it to, again to try to just get that sound a little bit cleaner because as opposed to speaking directly into the microphone that's attached to the camera, um, we'll be speaking from down there into microphones. So our voices are amplified um, through those microphones into the, uh, the speakers here, and then that sound is gonna come out and hit our microphone where it then gets processed again through the camera, through the computer, through the software, through YouTube, through whatever you're listening into on, on it, on it, to it, uh, to your ear. So that's quite a long way for um, these voices to travel and you add to that the fact that this is a big and very echoey space and it's just a little tricky to make that happen. So um, I've asked the one and only Lydia Johnson to help me uh, get this right and I'm gonna fiddle with it a little bit and see uh, if we can't get it just a little bit better uh, than we've had it so far. So, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so um, with Lydia's help, I've managed to play with those settings some more, uh, listening in on my big funny headphones. Um, and I think we've got it a little bit better. And um, the, just that, that sound is just a little bit cleaner, a uh, little less muddy. Hopefully um, it will sound much better on this coming Sunday. And uh, those of us speaking into the microphones will be extra careful to make sure that um, we're speaking in a way that, uh, that helps that to happen. Uh, but anyway, hope you have found this interesting. This whole process of learning how to do this has been really interesting. It's a, a whole new skill set and, um, and a constant learning curve. Um, and so uh, it's been uh, just one of those unexpected um, features of ministry, but uh, hopefully has been a, a helpful way of feeling connected to our beautiful worship spaces here. So blessings to everybody out there, and um, I'll see you on Sunday one way or another.